Welcome back to the Charnel House Trilogy. It is time to exhale. <sighs> Do I hear a train? Oh boy. Ugh, I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Whoa. God damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around. Ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. Okay, well something's immediately obvious to me, and that's that the shutters aren't closed, and there is, like, we're actually not underground. There's stuff going by. So when I was playing that other guy in Sepulchre, was he in some sort of a, a nightmare universe? And she's in the real universe, where stuff is kind of normal. <laughs> I mean, this actually appears to be a working train, so that's something. We're moving fast. The snowy countryside is beautiful. I don't recognize where we are. I'd freeze to death if I opened the window. It's cold enough on this train. Nice, comfy seats. A cute doggy! He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did I leave that? Ah, oh, crap. I wonder if I can get it back from the ticket guy, since he is the one who picked it up. A portrait of a sickly looking guy in a hat. I wonder who this is. Still got all my stuff from before on me. Ticket, cigarette, lighter, purse. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Hey! Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... she's kind of ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to old going on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tat. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. So, anything I can help you with, miss? You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye, I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. and won't sit still. Surprise he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. Wait, he said he's already had a sniff of whiskey. And he's already had his nap. So this takes place after the events of Sepulchre. So this isn't concurrently going on at the same time that the, the doctor was having his nightmare vision. This is after. Which means, am I ever going to find the doctor? 
So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little Nibbawamset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Aye, off to Augur to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Here, it's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Asked me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar? It's open, if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some... what? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. (laughs) Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. (laughs) Bags under his eyes. (laughs) Okay, so Kat is Alex's friend and Harold Lang's assistant, huh? And she's on the island. Hmm. Don said I shouldn't disturb him yet, so I won't. They sound busy. I won't disturb them. See what she thinks of the painting. See if she knows what they are. She looks weirdly like me. Uncannily so. Wait, That's what? That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. The canvas looks lumpy. Like there's something behind it. Oh my fucking god. I never thought about that maybe being Alex. Oh, Jesus. Oh god. She looks the can Is there something behind? I mean, can I like cut it open? I mean, I'm sure she wouldn't do that without a specific reason. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. They They sound yeah. No. <laughs> Listening to the music makes me sad. I don't want to go in. I think that's the room Grub was in. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Oh. Sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. 
I shouldn't. Should I? Sure, well, why not? it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Just what I like to see. A well-stocked bar. Shame nobody's around to tend it. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Oh, there's Grub's room. It's open. You don't look like Grub. Some music box this time. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? So that was the phone call. And that explains, I guess, why the phone call was so short, too. It wasn't... it sounds like it wasn't an accident, but expected. He was suffering, and it was just a matter of time. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups. Weird. I like your necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. 
<laughs> yeah, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. A music box. It's playing a beautiful, melancholy waltz. There's only one bag here. Is this girl traveling alone? Oh no, I'm sure there's a companion in there. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. One thing I want to check is, the woman in the painting, does she have a necklace? Oh my god, I, it's hard to tell, but I think she does. She looks weirdly like the canvas looks lump. I, I'm pretty sure she has a necklace in the painting. Yeah, it's very hard to tell, but I think I think she does. Just as Alex does. She looks weirdly like me. The Ugh. Maybe I should go see Dom. Hey! Evening, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway. It's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, aye. Her. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me! Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye, you're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, I. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry. This conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. Uh, ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Okay. Wonderful. Well, I've got a lighter. Here, use this lighter. 
Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? What? What the hell? What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. That entire conversation was extremely creepy. Also, fire seems to keep coming up. Right? In Sepulchre. In Sepulchre, Harold Lang mentioned that the door was locked and he said, isn't that a fire hazard? And then the guy said that, you know, if this, if this train catches on fire, we're all done for and there's nothing you can do about it. And then the whole thing with playing with matches and all of that, and the fact that there's a fire extinguisher here makes me think something's going to catch on fire. A fire extinguisher can be used for putting out fires or dispersing rowdy parties. Nothing's burning just now. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. It's my place. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. She's crying. Lydia? I could bash it open with a fire extinguisher, I suppose. That seems a little bit extreme, though. I mean, she's just crying. It's not like I really have any reason to think she's in danger, right? Nothing's... Is it time to tear apart the painting? I have no reason to- I don't think so. Nah. They sound- Uh, Rob? Alex! Hello! You came! They said you would- Okay, something's really not right. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The Earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia, I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Cut her belly. Find the key. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. When he said slice her open, I think he was talking about the painting. The lumpy painting. Not Lydia. There's my tool of destruction. I might need this. 
A steak knife? It looks recently used. Oh, there's blood on it. Probably blood from the steak. I can't reach over the bar. Hmm. There's something here. Weird. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Little bit strange that there'd be a key to a locked compartment inside of a painting that's apparently been there ever since this incredibly ancient train was first here. Nah. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl, where'd you get to? Uh, uh, Sophia? Fuck, Jesus, Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands on his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great! Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? Isaiah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being your weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. On my birthday? Didn't Alex say that Gavin left on her birthday or something? <laughs> What's happening? Cool music! A crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends my friends. I don't know why they're on this train. Oh, my head hurts. My trusty portable radio, only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. Isaiah likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. But he's not even real. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I, I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk, and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This will all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27, definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex? You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just because you've gone through some shit? Just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Uh, Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. 
Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit healed douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. (laughs) Her inhaler. Sophia's inhaler. She asked me to look after it. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Huh? The music stopped. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? They're all packed up and ready for shipping. A huge bag. Someone's luggage. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when... uh... Fuck it. Why not? Wait, is she actually going to put it on? Okay, she took it, but I really want her to put it on. (laughs) Please put on the party hat. That would be amazing. It's a party hat. Oh, I can't. I have no need. A green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Sure, why not? Am I going to make my own party? The hell am I doing with this stuff? I'd free... A window looking out into the night. The train's moving fast. It's a strange, swirling vortex painted in dark watercolors. My head throbs when I look at it. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Oh, someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. The ringing. I think the ringing's coming from in here. Ah. Here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh, God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your...
I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy. This fucking guy. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Gloria, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not lying. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. If this is just a simple nightmare, it sure seems rather elaborate. My old cell phone. I broke it once, and now I've broken it again. Good riddance. It's broken. I'll leave it where it is. Rob? Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It's his doing. It has to be. So you've said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know. And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? 
Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I was so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No. It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Rob, stop it! Listen. Focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop! I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no-good dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Um... No. I notice he's blocking the door. I do have a knife. Just take it easy for a minute, look around. It's a porcelain doll. It looks like her. It... I think it has my hair... my actual hair. Oh my god. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! What? Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? I don't even want to look at these any longer. A lantern. A third. I have no need to carry a lantern around. Do you want a party hat? I don't think he'd appreciate it. Do you want a balloon? I don't think he'd ap- Does your daughter want a party hat? Nah. Do I have to stab you? I'd rather try and talk my way past him first. That might be a good idea. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. No. Okay, that's the end of that. Can I light his daughter on fire? 
呢。<笑> OK。What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure, and why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen. You'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No, I have to protect you. I could kill for a cigarette right now. Would you don't want to go for the knife? If I try and go for the knife, Rob will be on me in a second. Oh, fair enough. I think I do have to do something related to fire. I think I need to maybe mess with the dolls because he's, he's so concerned about the doll, his daughter. I think he'd be distracted if perhaps the doll was on fire or something. Rob, I'm going to smoke. Okay, I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. <laughs> Jesus Christ! At least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. All right, we've got the lit cigarette. Nah. Nah. What do I need to burn? Can I pop the balloon? I don't want to pop it. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my fucking eye! I'm I'm blind. You fucking. Eye. Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was. Oh God. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one of my best friends, so I thought. He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But, but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no, then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense, or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know, but I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him, see if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I, I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Hi, oh Gloria, <laughs> the engine of death. Only, only tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you, you and Lang. I know, but I don't understand why us. The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us. We're just the staff. You two are the special ones, but you're setting us all free tonight, one way or another. Who is us? Me and well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie, I'm sorry about all this.
Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. <laughs> Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should... I don't know. Try and patch things up? If you want. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. So... In your opinion... In my opinion, she was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in? You walked in at the worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that... He wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, my advice is go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. So the reason they originally broke up, it looks like it wasn't even... It didn't even really happen the way she thinks it happened. And that they shouldn't have even broken up in the first place? Although it sounds like Gavin maybe used that as an excuse to end the relationship anyway. He's gone, right? Yeah, your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay, don't make me feel worse about it. Hey. It was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. Just like she'll call her mother tomorrow, right? Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall. Oh, nah. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah... You remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh, shit. Yeah, they start in a few days. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. Don't worry about it. Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door, with Sophia. Okay. Cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. Apparently Carly and Sophia are in here. Hey, Alex. You need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. She's freaking out. She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. (sighs) Who in the blue fuck is that? What? Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. Does she have a rope around her neck? There's something wrong with his face. It's like my eyes can't focus on him. 
He's clutching a small bag. Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. You promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly, tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? Maybe Grub has it in the bag? Okay, fuck that. Maybe if I give Grub a happy party hat, he'll give me the bag. (laughs) Nah. Do you want a balloon, Grub? You just want a friend, right? Nah. Oh, there's something wrong. He's clutching a small bag. Yeah, I think I need that bag. A picture of a boat sailing on what appears to be an underground river. There are people under the water. I think it's meant to be the sticks. Ugh, creepy. Sophia is one of my best friends, but it infuriates me how much of a diplomat she is at times. Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? On the seat opposite. Oh. Oh, that's the bag. Okay, I definitely need the bag then. Well, I've got my own purse. I need... I guess I don't have any change. Cards? Money? Nope. Hey, can you understand me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? And you want my lighter? Have fun! It's a new toy. Hey, He's gonna burn down the how train. About a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> oh my god, he's excited. Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this'll do. It's money, anyway. Here, will this do? Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if. Almost as if. We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. (sighs) Well, you're no fucking use, are you? There's something wrong. (laughs) Alex! Hey, I missed you! I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. 
My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. I collect dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Uh, what's your daddy's name? It's Rob, isn't it? My daddy's called Robert Crow. Mm hmm. Oh, God. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I. Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This. this train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're gonna see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Mm Mm-mm. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. A small girl dressed in a bell. I can take you to see your dad. Mm Mm-mm. That's what the man said, too. So you need a doll, huh? Do I have to go back in there and grab the porcelain doll? I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. Where was he? Was it 1A or 2A? Yep, there it is. He's gone. Where did he go? I don't want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. Can I put a little party hat on the doll? Nah. (sighs) There's gotta be something you can do with a party hat and balloon. It's probably an easter egg or something. I don't think she wants that. I don't... Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy! You really have met him! Yeah, do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Let's have a look. It's... It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. It's full of war. Do I have something I can shove in there? Not... Really? I need, like, a a stick or something. Nah. I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Oh, that's what it's for. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. I shouldn't mess with it. Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. Hey, Uh, hey Floyd? Ah yes, Miss Davenport, so nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but, but, Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh, God, Gavin. To see your face again. (laughs) How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? 
a mistake you could have so easily rectified. Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak, and we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulcher forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Kat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times, on the phone, just after we broke up, you were so hurtful, so hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What to... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. <phone rings> Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove so we could give you some time without going too far so we could wait it out make his triumphant return after your friends had left everything would have gone back to the way it was he would have continued defiling you I could hear you both, you know, through the walls hear the terrible things he did to you how he forced you to moan in pleasure to pretend to be enjoying it how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I am not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tit for tat. Let's exchange stories. Oh, do I actually have to get this accurate? Um... Mm. No! No, that's not how it happens at all! Okay. <laughs> Instant feedback there. Yes! Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. And then... She never got picked up, right? No! Damn it! I don't remember? No! Okay, well, that's easy. <laughs> she wasn't there. We searched the train, frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Uh, I guess what he saw was probably different from what had actually happened. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. That I couldn't save her. But then I met you. And I saw how you needed saving. 
You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyze them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. What? Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone call stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on here, kids? That Langfellas trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Aye. Let's see how it is. We had fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Which means... Kill Rob? I do have the steak knife. End Floyd's suffering? Let's go, Rob. Floyd. Donald. Don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? I'd say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell. No. Don't! Oh my god! I can't... I can't breathe again. Help! Help me. This isn't how it ends. I'm sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. 
Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. There's a fog rolling in. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. Well, <laughs> that was one hell of an ending. Holy crap. Uh, things definitely came to a head. No doubt about that. I did not expect much of anything that happened there at the end. I didn't expect Rob to play such a huge part in the story. I thought he was just a random neighbor. Nope. Wow. That was really, really good. And, yeah, apparently Grub was the author of the book? Castile? Or whatever his name was? Damn. Oh wow, there's even a lot more people involved in the making of this game than I thought. Yeah, holy crap. That was great. Um, I really like that it expanded on what happened in Sepulchre. I feel like it makes a, like Sepulchre, in the context of all these other parts, makes uh, a much more complete experience. I feel like all these short adventures together are uh, they're very very strong. Sepulchre on its own was a little bit weak. It didn't quite click with me entirely. I thought it was pretty good, but it just felt kind of unsatisfying, and you know it was kind of too brief to really get into. But everything together here really really works well. great flow to the story. The beginning kind of mild creepiness, and then once you're on the train, that's when things really start to go crazy. With Harold Lang and Alex both on their own kind of personal nightmare. I was actually really, really creepy. Um, I was worried at the beginning that it wasn't really going to be terribly creepy because of all the references and stuff like that, but it was. It, it really was. And some really good voice acting, too. Really good voice acting. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll end it there. I don't know if this... if they intend to continue the storyline at all, but... they certainly could. It basically ends on another cliffhanger. This time a much more satisfying experience, but it still does end on a cliffhanger, just like Sepulcher, and it could definitely be continued and I hope it does get continued. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through the Charnel House trilogy, and thank you for watching. And look at that, it looks like it is gonna continue. Yes!